guys, welcome back to another episode of What's Cooking Wednesday here on Big John TV. Today's recipe is a little bit different. Instead of making something that's a classic in our house, we're gonna make a classic from the UK. Now in the past I did do a toad in the hole. I'll link it up above so you guys can go check that out. It was fantastic and I'm ready for another one, another UK recipe. So today's recipe is going to be sausage rolls. Super simple, just a few ingredients, but I'm hoping I can nail this and make it perfectly. So come on and let's get started. All right, we're gonna start off with about a tablespoon of butter. And we're gonna add in about half a medium onion this is maybe a half a cup. And I did use my mini chopper to get these down pretty fine because my kids might not eat it if they see big chunks of onion. All right, we're gonna let those soften. All right, those are looking good. They're just starting to take on a little bit of a golden color. We've cooked off all that raw onion taste. These are gonna be perfect. We're gonna set these aside to cool. All right, now we're gonna start on the actual sausage that goes inside our sausage roll. We've got one and a quarter teaspoons of salt, three quarters teaspoons of black pepper, three quarter teaspoons of coriander, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, half a cup of breadcrumbs. Give this a quick mix. Next, we'll add in about a pound of ground pork and our cooled onions. And now we get messy. As we're mixing it, we'll add just a little bit of water at a time to kind of loosen the mixture up. Make sure you get all those spices and breadcrumbs really incorporated in here. A little bit more water. Okay, all together I've added about a half a cup of water, mixed it in, and this looks to be a really good texture. It holds together when you squeeze it without being too dry. All right, let's set this aside and work on our pastry. Now, I've never made my own puff pastry before, so I'm taking a little help from Pepperidge Farm here and using their puff pastry sheets. So I think I should be able to get four out of each of these. Now we take our meat mixture, form it into a log. And it's gonna go close to the edge on one side. All right, how do those look to you guys? I think they look great. Let me get my egg wash and we'll close these up. All right, I'm gonna use my finger and brush the edge here with just a little bit of water. Look at both sides. And fold it up. Ooh, I might've gotten these too full.
All right, we're gonna place these on our baking tray. And brush them with a little bit of an egg white wash. All right, let's do round two. All right, these look great. I had to do a little rearranging on the pan to make them all fit. All right, we're gonna give them just a little slice on top of each one. There they are. These are going in a 400 degree oven for about 25 minutes till they're nice and golden. Looking good to me, here we go. Ooh, these are out of the oven. They smell fantastic, but they are hot. We're gonna let them cool. I've got my HP and my ketchup ready. I'm ready to give these a taste. All right, guys, our sausage rolls are out of the oven and I've got my two little helpers here to give them a taste. So we have HP sauce ketchup. and ketchup. So you guys can try it with either one. I wanna try this one. Okay. They are super hot, so please be careful. Who wants it? You don't like it? Well, let me try this by itself. Okay, scoot over this way so they can see a bit more. I like the HP sauce. You like the HP sauce on it? Mm-hmm. Good. I'm gonna go the other side with ketchup. So they look excellent. They look like they've cooked all the way through. Good they feel of, really hot. They're very, very hot. Good dip of HP there. I just said that for a second. So what do you think of these, Jamie? I think they're good. You like meat? I like them. And you like bread products? All I want is the bread. I don't, I don't care for the meat. You don't care for the sausage inside? What? That's really hot. Mm-hmm. Mm. The sausage inside is probably a little bit different for him because it's got some ingredients that would be more of a sweet taste for us. <laughs> like the, um, the nutmeg is typically used in sweeter applications. This one might be a bit cooler. Jamie, did you just take oh. the bread off of mine? That's mine. Yours is over there. Oh, oh that's fantastic. Mm. Pretty hot. It's totally hot. Could have waited for them to cool down a bit more, but I couldn't wait. As soon as they do, I'm on top of that. Those are good. So I think these were a success. Let yep. me know down below how close this recipe is to yours, because I think this is one of those things where everybody's got their own <laughs> personal recipe. <laughs> a little bit messy there, huh? A little bit. Very. Mm. Great flavor. Kind of different than I'm used to yeah. for a meat product. Like you assume it's going to just taste like sausage inside, but it's an interesting combination. You're sitting down. But then they can't see you. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's wrap this one up then. Yep. Huh? So what do you say? Delicious. I like to subscribe with all these ones. I like the bread and ketchup. <laughs> That's it. Goodbye. And Maddie, you were a fan? You enjoyed the HP Maddie? sauce? Mm-hmm. What it? Oh, what's your line? I'm not mad. It's just my face. <laughs> no. In the middle of my face, Maddie. I'm not mad. I'm just mad. Oh, mad. Oh, there yep. you go. Good job. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if there's something else that's a popular UK dish you think I should give a try. This is kind of fun. Yep. All right, guys, catch you on the next one. See ya. Bye.